yo what is up guys it's your boy kevy here back at it with another video and welcome back to my trading from nothing series you guys absolutely loved episode one and have been asking for episode two so here we go guys we're starting episode two today in today's episode i'm going to be explaining like a ton of different tips on how to trade so if you guys are excited make sure to drop a like subscribe comment down below if you want more videos like this and turn on post notifications so you notice my next video Anyways, let's just get started. All right, guys. So as you guys remember from episode one, I had the camo commander, which is valued at like 1.5k, and now I am at 3.9k. So we actually like doubled our value to 3.9k. I'm gonna show you guys everything that I did. I'm gonna show you all my tips, all my tricks that I did to get 3.9k. I basically doubled my value since last episode. I'm gonna show you guys everything, my inbound trades, the trades I've completed, and everything. So we're just gonna hop right in, I guess. Right now I have the Noob Attack Venom Shank, Golden Crown, Blue Goof, Noob Assist, Marvelous Mom, and a Shaggy. So I have these five items totaling around 3.9k wrap, 3.9k value. I'm gonna show you guys all my trades and everything. So here we go. All right, guys. So here's my inbound trades tab. I have like a ton of trades inbound, but like I've looked through all these and they are all like kind of really, really bad. But first I'm gonna go show you guys my completed trades. So if you go to completed, since last episode we actually completed around one two three four we completed around four trades these three trades right here don't count i was doing a giveaway on my twitter for a green man and top hat so i sent myself green man and top hat and i sent it to the winner of the giveaway and then i sent myself back to shaggy that i got but okay here are the four trades i've completed since last episode so the first one was is with mondalix i traded Camel Commando for the Diamond Crystal Circlet. So you guys might be thinking this is a really bad trade. 1.4k for 1.3k. But what actually happened was, I'm going to try to explain this to you guys as best as I can. This was a projected item when I traded for Diamond Crystal Circlet was projected. Basically what projected means is when an item sells for a really high price and the wrap is raised to really high. The wrap is projected and it drops at an insanely fast rate. So what I did was I traded Camel Commando for this when it was like 5k wrap and i tried to trade it off for profit so projected trading is basically when you trade your item to get like an item that is projected really high wrap that's um not its actual wrap and then you try to trade that off for a better trade so what i did was i got traded camel commander for diamond crystal circlet and i traded diamond crystal circlet for 2.8k so i got a humongous win this is basically me giving camel commander 43 items blue goop center branches and blue winter cap which is around like a, i think a 1.5k win which is absolutely insane we got a humongous win but anyways the best way i can explain projected trading is it is a high risk high reward situation because if i had not traded off diamond crystal circlet it would have dropped 1.3k and i would have actually lost the trade but I went ahead and I went and traded Diamond Crystal Circlet for these three items and I got a massive win. Then this next trade is with Sandog132. I gave Blue Winter Cat plus a couple of Robux for Golden Crown. It's like a 200 win now, which is absolutely insane. This is a really good win. Just like he wanted this hat and then I got the Golden Crown off it. Really good win. All right. And then the last trade I completed was with Gemstones. I gave Sinister Branches for Radioactive Robot and Noob Assist Marvelous. It's like a 600 win. So to explain this trade, Basically, Radioactive Robot is a no-demand item. Sinister Branches is a high-demand item. That's probably why he accepted. Radioactive Robot gets like zero trades. It has no demand at all. But I was actually able to trade Sinister Branches. And I got this and this, which was a huge win. So now I'm going to show you guys how you guys can tell if an item is high demand or if an item is low demand. What you want to do is you want to go into the selling page of both of these items. So here we have the Sinister Branches. As you guys can see, it sells a lot that's how you know it has high demand it sells like so many times a day like it averages around like a hundred sales a day which is absolutely insane but yeah this sells a lot so this has a lot of demand a lot of people want this item this item actually looks really cool as well but when you go to radioactive robot as you guys can see it barely sells it sells like probably like five times a week maybe you guys can already tell the difference between radioactive robot and the sinister branches right off the bat this has like no sales at all. So I was able to give Sense Branches for this no demand item and then this small, which was a 600 win. All right guys, and then after that, what I actually did was I was actually able to sell the Radioactive Robot. I was actually kind of surprised it sold. So as you guys can see here, I sold the Radioactive Robot to Best Doggy Guy for 1.5K Robux. But I actually did not get a full 1.5K Robux. I got like a thousand Robux because whenever you sell an item on Roblox, Robux takes 30% of the sale. So I got like a thousand Robux off of that. So I had a thousand robux in my account and then this leads me to my next tip on how to trade. 
a good way to trade is to sell your items for a high amount and then buy other items for good deals on the catalog. So with this 1.5k Robux, I was actually able to buy this new attack Venom Shank Vengeance for 745 Robux. And you guys saw I had like a Shaggy left over. I actually bought that Shaggy with Robux that I had from when I renewed Builders Club for this account. It says I purchased Black Lightning Kicks, but like I think it's like a glitch on Roblox. I did not buy this. I bought the Shaggy for 410 Robux. So I'm actually going to show you guys how I get items for like good deals off the catalog. So what I do is I go to Rollymons.com. This is a really good trading website. It tells you like values of items and stuff and like you can post trade ads. You can do everything on that. I really recommend this website but I'll go on Rollymons.com and then I click this deals tab right here. And then when you're on this tab there's like a ton of different deals like a really good deals on the items. But if you're like a starting trader and you have like no robux then a lot of, you can't afford like a lot of these items. So what I did was I went on to I clicked value. Clicked most recent. You can change it to I think I did like lowest value boom and i changed it to like 20 percent to get like deals that were like actually worth looking at so yeah there's like a ton of good deals right now i can't really afford any of these but yeah sometimes it'll be like um lower price i don't see like this one's um 450 robux right now i can't afford that right now this is actually a pretty good deal but yeah this is basically how you can like snipe items if you have like a lot more robux you can actually like, profit off of this feature because like there are some really good deals 20 percent, 28 percent all right so that was basically like me explaining different tips on how to trade to recap, I went over projected trading, I went over no demand versus demand items, and I went over buying and selling off the catalog. So I might like reiterate those tips in the future if you guys don't like don't understand and like give better examples. But yeah, that's basically what I did to get to 3.9k off of like 1.5k Kema Commando and have all these items right now. It's absolutely insane. You don't have to spend all your time doing this. Back when I first started trading, I would spend like all day on Trade Hangout and you know, more time you spend, the more profit you're going to make. But I just spent like an hour a day on this account trying to make trades and stuff. So you don't have to spend all your time, you know, just like a couple hours a day and you can you can get somewhere for sure. But we're going to go look over my inbounds. I'm going to show you guys all my inbound trades and I'm going to like counter, accept or decline most of them. All right. So this first trade is with Kinsey Nevermore. I'm giving 2.8K rap for 5.8K. Okay, so at first this might look like an amazing deal for me. Like I'm getting a massive win, right? Like a 3K win. Nope. The answer is no. You guys always want to check if it's too good to be true. It's too good to be true. So as you guys can see, Sparkle Time Lump Co. I'm gonna show you guys how you can tell if the item is projected. So if you go into the selling page of this item, look at this right off the bat. You guys can tell something's off. 5.8K wrap, but it's selling for 2K. That's a 3.8K deal, and no one is buying it. So yeah, this is obviously projected because it's selling for so low and like the wrap is so high and also if you look at the graph of this item item sold was selling for like like around 600 700 a day and stuff and then just out of the blue sells for 25k so yeah this is obviously projected but what you guys can do is i like to flip projected so i'm actually going to counter this guy's trade to see if i can get this for like a much lower price so i can like probably flip it to get a better deal and like make a win i'm gonna counter it and let me see i'll try to get my blue goo for it and see what he does yeah let me um, i'm gonna send this out so this is outbound now so i'm gonna see if he accepts that if he accepts that i might try to trade this off for like a good deal so let's check out other inbounds this uh let me counter this all right i'm gonna send out my new attack venom shank for this in this branches it's like a really bad deal but you know he might accept it he might counter it let's see what he does with it boom yeah, this is a bad trade as well. Let's see. Can he add anything here? I'm gonna take this out I'm gonna try to get this blue still shutter and see what he does. Okay, let's send this Boom This is another bad trade as well. Let me see what I can do. Oh, he's a head row. Okay Maybe I'll I'm gonna try to get this. This would be like a really good trade if he accepts this. Okay Boom, let's counter that out and then this is another bad trade. So I recommend like I know counting might be like a hassle for some people, but you know, sometimes if you count out a trade, they might actually accept it. You never know. So let's see. Upgrade. Let's actually, I'm going to try to get this. Solar Roblox is passed. Okay. Counter that out. Another terrible trade. Let's see. Sometimes if like people send me terrible trades, I'm going to send like a terrible trade back. Let me try to give this and this instead. Okay. There we go. Boom. I'm gonna send this as well. Same thing as I did to uh, a guy before. Let's go. This was, I think this was like projected item as well. So I'm gonna send him like, I'll send like Shaggy for this. So yeah, right now these trades are like all really, like kind of really bad. 
I'm just sending out bad counters out. So, you know, sometimes if you send a bad counter, they might actually accept it. You never know. So, I might as well try. But yeah, we have like ton of trade. I'm going to go through some of these. I'm going to show you guys if there's like anything actually good. But if not, I'm just going to like probably decline most of these and try to get a fresh set of trades in. So I went ahead and declined like all my inbound trades, but I have like these two trades left inbound because like these are actually like, decent or okay trades. So another tip that I have for you guys is if you guys sent like a trade that you're like, you don't know if you should accept your iffy on it. What you guys can do is you guys can actually leave it inbound and send the person a whole new trade so you do not lose the trade that you have inbound. Because like this trade right here is like it's okay, but like it's only like an 8 win right now. Maybe in the future like these hassle raise and my hassle will drop, but you guys never know. So if like a trade is okay, I would recommend just like leaving it inbound and just sending the person a whole new trade. That's basically like countering it, but you're just sending them a whole new trade instead of like countering this one so you still have the opportunity to accept this one in the future so yeah guys that's gonna wrap it up for episode two of my trading from nothing series i really hope that these videos are helping you guys trade or like motivating you guys to trade but yeah just remember that you guys can do whatever you put your mind to if you just want to be a good trader as i said earlier you don't have to spend all day trading like you guys can spend like an hour a day that's basically what i did i made all this profit so far off of like camera commando and like some robux but yeah guys basically that's my tips for you guys for episode two if you guys enjoyed make sure you leave a big thumbs up subscribe comment down below if you want episode three in the future and turn on post notifications so you notice my next video thank you guys so much for watching have a good day as always kevy out